Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CoachHead.co.uk. Today I just wanted to show you something really good about Umbraco Forms and how it lets you pre-fill some of these fields on the form. Um, and you can do it using the query string parameters or you could even uh, use it through uh, the session variables and even properties from the page as well. Uh, but mainly what I'm going to show you is the ones where you can do it from the um, query string and also the HTTP request object as well. So it's really simple. All I've done is I've set up a free trial with Umbraco Cloud. Um, I've installed the default starter kit and I'm on the contact page. I've zoomed in a bit because it's a bit uh, just so that you can see it better on the video. So on this contact form I've got name, email, phone number and message and um, there's this page here. I'll put it in the description and what it lets you do is um, use some magic strings so the way you do that is if you go into the back office into Umbraco forms you find the form that you want to edit and you go into the property let's say name and what I've done here is I've put at name so then if I go into the contact page and I do query string name equals Bob and go back because I don't know what happened there uh, name equals Bob and then hit enter that actually fills pre-fills Bob in there so that's good so then um, I could do that for all of my fields uh, so I've set it up for for them all so I've just put in this square brackets and then at email for the email one at phone for the phone number one and at message on there so Uh, test at test.com and the phone number so and phone equals oh one two three four five six seven eight nine oh and message equals something interesting so Let's just press enter and that has pre-filled them so that's pretty cool um, but you might not want to pass it through on that so if you go to this uh, magic strings you can actually uh, get it to pull it from the session cookies as well session and cookies and you can even do it from the Umbraco page field item. I couldn't get this to work in Umbraco 8. It probably does work in Umbraco 7. Maybe this needs to be updated for Umbraco 8 or it's broken in Umbraco 8. Um, but yeah, look at this page. It's really good. So the other thing you can do as well is uh, pull through things like the URL, the referrer, the remote address and the uh, user agent. So the way you do that is very similar. You just edit that and you put at URL um, at remote address and so on so with that one I'm not going to show you my remote address so I'm just going to put in 123.5.6.754 but you get the idea save that and browser user agent as well and that just goes in like HTTP user agent so if I was to now reload the contact page it's already pre-filled because it pulled those through from there and then do next then it's got current URL remote address obviously that well, I just hard coded that but you can just use the magic string for remote address and it's got a browser user agent I couldn't get the referrer one to work I don't know if there's a spelling mistake there or not I tried different things like that but it didn't work but the idea is there um, so just something cool for you to uh, try if, and to know about if you didn't know and one of the other things as well with these sorts of things you might not want them to be a um, you might not want them to be an actual text box you can change it to be uh, hidden as well so probably feels a bit wrong to do that but you could in theory set it to be a hidden and then hide it if policy allows you to collect that sort of information just be aware of GDPR and things like that when you are collecting that sort of information but yeah just thought I'd show you um, I was impressed with it
and I hope you are too. So I hope you like the video, if you do please click on like, subscribe to my channel, press the bell if you want notifications, leave comments, uh, share with everyone and um, yeah, look out for more Umbraco V8 videos coming out. It looks like they're slowly getting it ready to be a stable version. Uh, I think there are some minor bugs. Once we get past those, maybe 811 or 812, I think I'll start my next series about building a site with Umbraco 8. Thanks for watching. Bye.